Um, so they find themselves, they've done everything they needed to do. They've made it through winner's bracket. They're in winner's bracket finals, which was, you know, we talked about in the open bracket. Everyone knew French Joe's was going to advance and make it to pool play. But from pool play till now is pretty incredible. And considering the fact that they only barely edged out Sentinels in advancing, you know, definitely speaks wonders to, you know, how good the Sentinels roster is also going to be in the future. Well, as we have some time as the game's about to, uh, getting loaded up and getting set up for us, we might not have that much time, actually. Let's cut to an Empyrean CTF. We're seeing the map overlay here. And two players that specifically stick out to me, Kyle, that we really need to focus on on the side of French Toast if they want to stay in the series. You got to focus on Monster and you got to focus on Gilk. Those two players have done so much to get their team to this stage. They need to continue that level of play, especially against the likes of Optic. Oh, 100%. They need to play better than they played at any point here today. Optic is going to be the team right now that is going to most punish you for any mistakes that you make on the map right now. And Optic, like we said, may have been caught a little bit off guard but they made their minor adjustments. They've refocused in on the game and they know that they cannot overlook this squad one bit. So like we said, if they come out shooting like they were against FaZe earlier today, I think we might see the optic that won the world championships again in form. I think that's exactly what we're in store to see, but let's see what the opening strats. Empyrean CTFs, very new to the competitive scene. We're gonna have two players going for overshield on the side of Optic. It's Trippy and Lucid. They position themselves so perfectly to make sure that that pole blocks them from getting repulsed off the map. Doesn't allow Monster or suppress the opportunity to, to deny overshield. And now Gilki, the last player alive for the team, is being hunted on the flag. And formal with rockets creates a potential opportunity to get a flag run with four dead once again for French Toast. That's exactly right. Four down for French Toast. I believe rockets and sniper were down on the flag. Hopefully they're able to pick up and grab those weapons. Sure enough, it looks like they are. Also got drop shield in their back pocket. And we're seeing one of the first runway runs, something you don't see very often. Definitely something that was not popular back in the Halo 3 days. Interesting drop shield uh, as well. I guess he just wanted to get rid of that. I'm not sure how that one was going to play into his benefit. But nonetheless, three dead once again for French Toast in the first minute of the game. We're already seeing the first capture. Okay, so a lot of times we ask this, uh, the question, who's going to get the snipe for this team? Notice that Optic Gaming's snipe just got picked up. They decided to send all four players for Rockets and Overshield, deny that snipe or not even worry about that snipe. And they get a flag cap in the first minute without even touching their snipe. It was still up by the time APG was able to cap that flag and come back to it. So that was a phenomenal starting strat we just saw from Optic, something back in the day that uh, I know APG and I did on Dynasty where we said, screw the snipe at the start, we're gonna send two camo, two green. Not necessarily the exact same strat, implications came from it of a quick opportunity to get control of the enemy base you're right a lot of times it's about the implications Wes. here so as we see lucid he's got sniper nice body shot apg's also got one that is both snipers or two snipers just as i say that apg does in fact run out of ammo but not at a bad time because he's going to get a free over shield once again you see the french toast sniper rifle is still up in play on the map no Ooh. one's been able to get it but a nice flank from monster will go ahead and take out over shield player yeah, but here comes the rest of Optic. APG did just, just enough damage, distraction, and it's an allowed Formal and company to get a couple of kills, get control of the snipe. And Formal wants to back up with this one. Eight, one, and four right now. They're going to have two snipers to play around as well because their snipe just came up as well. And Trippy's top your tower with a heat wave. So when it rains, it pours. And right now, Trippy in such a power position to disturb any of these players on training. This is going to be such a difficult situation for French Touch to deal with. Oh, absolutely. Two down once again. You can tell they've just not been able to get their footing at all. Monster with four kills, six deaths. Other than that, these players have not been able to get many kills here. The heavily outslayed by Optic. New Rockets are also coming up on the map right now. We'll see if who, if anyone from French Toes will be able to contend, contest this and Trippy. He's top tower. He's got the heat wave. He's got the repulsor. And it is just so difficult to clear players out of your base when they get set up with equipment and uh, other utility in your tower and courtyard. Yeah, repulse and heat wave, such a difficult combination to try and deal with as you're pushing back there, especially with nothing at your own disposal. But Ramy with some good shots, eliminates Trippy for now, releases some of that pressure that Optic was able to provide on top of that turret. But 
right now guilt can't quite find the opening with snipe and so far we're about four minutes through this game and french test really don't feel like they've had an opportunity to be on the offensive up until this point i would say uh, think something's boding well for french toast right now is the fact that they're only down one cat with how poorly kind of things have gone off the start of the game they've rarely been able to have much sniper control but gilkey finally able to find one himself they will help shut down that flag run as formal was looking for a pull overshield spawning not sure anyone from optic is going to be able to contest that looks like they go ahead and elect to just give it up their new sniper is up and it's apg that grabs that and connects with a headshot on the monster to take him out and even though gilkey has that sniper rifle there's definitely no push opportunity here for them right now yeah you gotta find an opening if you're gilk and sniping your hands is a good start to do it unfortunately it is gonna be apg on the other side and it's just a stalemate right now and the stalemate always benefits the team that's in the lead currently so optic comfortably playing around the snipe that apg has not necessarily overextending and although kills are being traded nobody really feels like they have the opportunity to push and create some space for their team yeah you can see it's definitely uh, the map being split 50 50 right now not sure how much ammo gilkey has left in that sniper but he's got to be running out here soon just as i say that lucid takes him out with an assault rifle there so now the sniper in their hands apg grabs himself yet another kill on the monster and manages to stay alive and buy some additional time here his top tower Present statistically not having the strongest game it's getting even worse for him as multiple members close in on him and sword it's been this right side focus for optic and typically pit is a map where on ctf you want to push the high side of the map optic showing you they have a little bit different way of playing this map so far so good for them the 1-0 lead as they cross the six minute mark here momentarily is exactly where optic want to be a second cap to create a 2 0 lead space, a little bit of comfort in the closing minutes of this game, halfway through just about, would be something that Optic and Optic fans really want to see. But French Touch's defense continuing to stand strong. It's just a matter of how much opportunity are they going to get before this game is over. 100% here. You can see they have Heat Wave. They moved it out of Sword and took it over towards Green to help secure Rockets. Sure enough, they will be able to grab them. APG with these rockets and repulsor it, you're just it's so much easier to play more confidently when you have repulsor and a repulsor with rocket combo is just so powerful one you keep repulsor out of the enemy team's hands so you don't have to worry about a rocket getting sent directly back at you or in your face you're also so protected in these hallways being able to repulse grenades or push a player further away from you to connect with that rocket it, it, it's such a powerful combination when you combine some of these weapons with utility tries his best with the ar but eventually apg goes down on the good news for french toast rockets are out of the way unfortunately the snipes are coming up and you know how lethal some of the members on optic can be still no real significant push to the optic side of the map from french toast so far throughout this game waiting on the first lucid gets thrown off the map and that kill could be the opening to try and get some courtyard control for french toast yeah you can see that we'll pick up a kill here and you can form his top tower trying his best to play a little bit of defense prevent players from pushing up into the courtyard as he gets taken out that's a free top tower position here for french toast and this is what they want to do they want to force all of optic over here towards their mauler and kill them as they get the flag pull yeah two go down that's your immediate signal you got to get this flag on the move but there is a formal you got to deal with monster takes care of him last player alive is trippy on the cuts and this flag is the one that french toast need to tie this game up he's getting lit up as he chooses to run it up the kneeler ramp gets through with no shield and he should be in the clear now with this quick wrap to be able to tie this game up he is taking damage but there it is the point the tied game four minutes and 15 seconds left and french toast show you that yesterday was no fluke at all they're here to compete oh 100 with overshield and snipers coming up as well even though optic has been heavily outslaying them it all it doesn't mean anything at the end of the day considering the fact they're able to run that flag back and secure one and tie this game up now they are going to lose overshield to 2v2 scenario once again suppress gets taken out that's probably going to be sniper rifle down monster tries to get a repulse play once again but the the repulse plays here for monster just have not been there lucid positioning is back to the wall to prevent getting knocked off with the first overshield another play right there monster not able to put that repulse to use and that's going to be a big opportunity for optic to play aggressive once more 
Yeah, Lucid kind of stuck in a difficult situation there. Tries to hit a couple of no scopes because he misses. This should be French Toast playing some solid defense, flushing out the rest of Optic from their base. Still got Formal to deal with. Good repulse there to make the shots difficult as the teamwork comes through. And now all of a sudden, French Toast can be aggressive, get court control, get a little pressure going, and suddenly somehow steal the lead with the flagpole here if they can get around to slays oh and you can see the french toast they've got sword control they've got some of the power weapons and they are pushing up on the map they want to contest for these rockets now that is one kill for trippy on to suppress almost gets a second one but the player does not go down gets taken to absolute no health no shields but does manage to buy some additional time here with his life yeah, if you're French Toast, you want to have more rocket control because rockets continuously have been in the hands of Optic. There's four of them right now on pit, and that's creating a frustrating power swing for French Toast. It's difficult to deal with that balance right now, and APG trying to get a fly pull on the first knows that his team doesn't necessarily have the control to continue to run that, tries to drop it, stay alive. He gets taken down, and French Toast once again stands strong on defense. It's just a matter of can they get a second real opportunity at a cap? Yeah, and you can see with the next overshot coming up, only two minutes left to play, and a new sniper is spotting as well. Nice positioning. Formal cleans up a kill towards green, but gets taken out by Monster as well. Optic, they're pushing up on the map. They're using this sniper rifle to secure themselves that overshield. And as we say that, that was three dead momentarily. Should be a cleanup kill here onto Rami from Trippy as well. He's got one shot left to use. If he connects with this one, this might be the opening that Optic needs to try to run that second flag cap and take the lead with less than two minutes left. Look at this push. I love this by Monster. Instead of going for APG, he angles himself to attack the training. That kind of catches them off guard because he gets that kill. So much pressure is released. They get a second kill even. And although Optic were top turret, had multiple snipes to play around, nothing as far as an advantage in the score right now. APG is still alive, however, and the courtyard hits the body. Ends up sticking the player as well. Good trade. But uh, opportunity squandered from Optic and what was probably going to be their best chance before overtime to get a cap. Yeah, you can see three dead once again. They do have sniper rifle control, and it looks like they have spotted out the last player who is also the sniper rifle player and yep. suppressed who is hiding tower one. As he gets dropped, Formal should hopefully oh be able to God. grab that. And with 50 seconds left, they just need to send this uh, or, or get the flagpole here, and then a game will end very quickly after the cap. They're gonna run it towards the mauler. Suppress is over here in the Neewer pit. He's getting spawn killed though. Trippy came through camo. This is perfect for Optic. And they can end this one in regulation if they can get this flag into the camo hole. But they've got a round of slays to try and achieve here. Monster's gonna be on the flag. The closest player to try and deny this. The flag carrier gets rocked to no shield. Formal does get it through though. Can you stop the push coming from the desperate players trying to get that from French Toast. The answer is no. And 19 seconds is what Optic has to play defense for to take game one. Yeah, only a few seconds. They need to hold off one more kill will pretty much guarantee them the win. The thing about a map like this, especially, is if you die coming off spawn, you're just so far away from the flag, you will not be able to move across the map in time. And as we say that, Optic, they come out strong. That game was pretty close, though, Wes. Um, you know, they were definitely heavily outslaying French Toast to start, but only in managed to get one capture for that entire time that they maintained control. It looks bright, but it's really not that bright. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it looks really bright. <laughs> it looks really bright. I'm just pale. I need some sun. Uh, either way, I think there's something to say about how hard that was for Optic. Even felt like they were in the driver's seat the entire game. It felt like they had control 95% of that game. To only win that game by one cap, testament to French Toast's ability to deny Optic's success in a lot of different situations where it looked like Optic was going to have success. But still, you can't make a living playing on your back beat like that, right? It's two little opportunities really given to French Toast to make that a winnable game in my opinion like that the flag run that they have was really the only realistic opportunity they had to even get a pull and and make a play props to them for doing so but you're not going to stay in this series any longer than three games if you can't create more opportunity to make plays yeah i mean we saw like we said even though that game was heavily slay wise in favor of optic 
Um, overall control, like you pointed out, 90, 95% control definitely looked uh, to be the scenario there at the end of the day. Um, repulsors and other equipment really weren't, you know, panning out the way French Toast hoped they would. Uh, and to have the game be a 2-1 victory shows that this series is definitely not over. Oh, it's far from over. And I do think that that was going to be a game type that was going to be very difficult for French Toast to kind of stay in just because of all of the, like, map presence that Formal, Lucid, whoever it may be that picks up Snipe, every one of those guys is an absolute threat. I would want to play with as little Snipes as possible when playing against a team like Optic. So I think through the rest of the series, they'll have a better opportunity. But ever since that game one Argyle CTF against FaZe, Optic have looked like a completely different team um, from probably how they were playing yesterday uh, and including that game one against FaZe. Like they've turned this ship around. They are feeling themselves. Confidence is at an all time high. And when you get players like Lucid and Formal with all time co high confidence, they are consistently just in your face and dominating. Yeah, I mean, some of the most talented players that we've ever seen in gaming as well. Uh, some of the uh, individual talent that you have from Lucid, there's a reason he won MVP. There's a reason why Optic repeated and were, are the current Halo World Champions as well. Um, you know, in a, in a best of five series, you know, definitely a lot more beneficial than like a best of three, which of course the Halo community, um, you know, is very vocal on what they prefer there. Best of five series, you could still catch teams off guards and pull off upsets, especially with the different range of maps, new additions, so many different game types, even more than we had in a lot of previous, you know, competitive Halo titles as well. You know, there's a lot that you need to be aware of uh, when you're heading into these games. The French Toast roster, the chemistry here for these guys has just been um, exceptional uh, overall. You can even see the times that Optic did maintain control. Uh, you saw incredible heads up plays to pick up different trades and just prevent flag pulls from happening from the side of French Toast. We'll see if they can turn this around and comp continue to compete because the more I feel like Optic get further into a series with lead the better optic play and it feels like the worst anybody that they play against really like plays i feel like if you're going to beat this team you have to get them from the jump french toast not able to do so in game one but as game two kicks off the battle for camo is underway and optic members are a lot of middle being hit by grenades they should be taken down and it should be an opportunity for french toast to at least get off to an early lead and potentially camo control Oh, and they sniffed Beautiful Trippy mate. out. They knew he was still hiding there. He had been no shields for quite some time. Even though they took out two players of Optic, they did not overlook or remember he was hiding. Monster grabs himself a kill in the pipes. He's going to be maintain gold control. There's people trying to help him, but he's going to get forced back in there as the push comes in. The rest of the spawns for Optic come up towards A. They're looking to try to clear out as much of this area as they can. Who was it that ended up with camo is the big question. I believe it was French Toast, but I couldn't tell who on French Toast it was. That player probably no longer in control of the camo. But right now, Rami trying to fight off a couple players. Turbine going to have a lot of pressure on him, and he's by himself. But Rami does end up getting the kill in the kill feed. Teammates desperately trying to get to him to keep him alive. Elevator's a nice power position to be able to hold if you can control pipes with it and tear about half or three-fourths of the map right now. But... Trippy's made his way all the way to C plat now with shock rifle. And this is something you need to be worried about if you're French Toast. Yeah, I mean, uh, you can always make an argument of what's better to control. If you break the map in half, do you want to hold like kind of A and gold? Or do you want to hold uh, control and C slash gold area? Well, C and gold area works extremely well, especially when you already have the shock rifle outside yeah. of the map where they can't, um, you're not losing that benefit or somebody on the enemy team grappling it in to use against you here. So the fact that they were able to use that, get that away here, definitely still opens up the map and allows them to play uh, from different angles where they might not have to worry about being sniped anymore. Yeah, in my opinion, this is the more ideal situation when you can bring shock all the way to control, especially as camo is coming up. You have the advantage of that pit wall to play around to try and secure that camo, potentially land a couple of picks. Nobody really home for the shock rifle so far for Trippy. As camo, I believe, did get scooped up by someone. I'm not quite sure where it ended up, but optics seem like they're going to continue this stalemate of a 
setup right now as you see long haul pressure coming through gilkey stays alive and they found a couple picks that can break this setup entirely yeah suppress gets taken out but more members being traded out to the side of optic at least momentarily trippy he's still got that shock rifle has to be getting low on ammo on that as he's taking quite a few shots but optic gaming just so clean with the protection here they do end up trading out so great great job by french toes to actually secure some of those kills and take that shock rifle out of the equation for the time being but this game is still essentially tied up or just one kill lead for optic here this is the time that you may want to see them push back into gold and work together to try to secure the next shock rifle yeah and Although it doesn't look like Formal's going to be in a position to do so. If he can get a couple of kills on this side of the map, it's going to open up that opportunity for his teammates. They've opted to try and come help him as well. So over towards control, the battles continue to go down and they continue to go in Optic's favor. Now up five. Yeah, you can see four kill lead here as Suppress cleans up Formal. You have Lucid top frag in the game at a nine and six and Monster leading the charge for his team seven and seven here so still anybody's game new cam was spawning up in 20 seconds definitely going to want to see a lot of attention put on this you can see the map being currently split constant trades though 50 50. you've got gold going over to control a french toast optic deciding to just back away try to not die here regain their numbers and play to retake control trippy still has control of that shock as he goes down i say that lucid with 11 kills keeping optic in the lead for now but Map control is going to benefit French Toast right now. They're going to be able to secure this camo. He's taken down, unfortunate, as he was desperately trying to grapple that camo to himself. Gilkey gets taken down, and that's Optic's window of opportunity to own, not only release some pressure, potentially secure that camo and turn it into a power position for themselves. Yeah, one thing to worry about, though, is what happened to that camo. It looks like Optic does, in fact, know that it's still down on the ground. But right as Formal grabs it, he gets taken out. So that's going to be another camo burn. Still, five kill lead over for Optic. They've got the C and A control monster. Ducks underneath that plasma grenade as he pushes into the base. APG grabs a beat down. And with a cleanup on the monster, that is going to be another winning trade here for Optic Gaming. Yeah, because APG makes himself such a difficult kill right there. Staying alive, playing behind that box. It's a two to one trade for the favor of Optic. They extend the lead to six. Uh, uh, seven minutes left to play Gilkey, he's got that sniper rifle again he wasn't able to do much with it to start but now with that shot connecting on the first kill on to lucid shutting him down gives suppress an opportunity to get or trade out monsters death as long as optic keeps maintaining these kind of like trade scenarios they're going to be in great position but there's a lot of ammo left in the shock rifle and still solid map positioning here for french toast yeah, if you're French Toast, let Gilk go to work. Slow this game down. Don't give up any deaths and just buy some time for him to hit some shots. Unfortunately, he gets stuck. And that's going to remove the shock rifle from his hands. It's going to go back into the hands of a French Toast member. It's suppressed that finds it. But you want Gilkey with this weapon, in my opinion, if you want to try and come back in this game. You still find yourself down six. Yeah, the fact that Optic Gaming was able to trade out some of those kills really effectively and actually build upon their lead, especially considering Lucid just got sniped twice in a row in almost the same location by Gilkey, that speaks wonder to just how well Optic's playing this map. A lot of pressure right now as Trippy decides to throw this shock off the map he's gonna play it it's a four kill game so trades have benefited french toast for the moment as of recent but such little room for error right now and gilkey with camo has got to figure out a way to make a play that opens up the map for his team to push yeah this is going to be the time the last real camo you're probably going to get to use this game new shock rifle on spawn we'll find out if waiting for this was the right play i don't think lucid has any idea well not until this moment right here that he was being uh, hunted by this uh shock rifle now do they know he has camo i mean if you're optic right here you're definitely wanting to slow things down you have a solid lead you want french toast to make the mistakes most important thing you can do right now is just not get sniped and let them cut down on this lead because there is so much time left to play time is not a factor right now the issue the kills three needed for the side of optic nine on the side of french toast the good news is, is gilk has found himself that shock rifle bad news is gilk down apg gets the kill great teamwork to flush gilky out of that exposed area top red and 
when he gets taken down a teammate falls with him now just one kill to go for optic to be up two to zero on their nemesis is the french toast you can see trippy grabs that last and final kill that secures now a 2-0 lead for optic gaming in these winners bracket finals french toast they had their number yesterday but today definitely looks a little bit of a reverse situation here optic gaming playing similar to what they were doing against phase and they are looking like one of the most uh one of the biggest forces here left in the tournament and if you're wondering about my lighting if you'd like to replicate something for maybe your own stream or something you have as set up at home just exclamation point lighting it should send you the link to get this going on but this winner's bracket finals maybe not the show that we wanted to see because french toast as strong as they looked against ssg this optic team in the current stride that they're in i don't see them giving up much room much space to allow french toast to come back in this series in fact kyle i honestly believe that this series is headed towards the 3-0 especially now that i know that live fire oddball is going to be game three yeah live fire oddball that's definitely going to be one of the game types that bodes well to teams that have a lot of experience chemistry together uh great just overall communication rotation ball rotations are you know always a big factor on this especially considering the map is so small uh, so we may be seeing the end of the fairy tale run here for French Toast in the winner's bracket. Battle underway. No overshield to play around for the first 30 seconds. So these kills really just setting up for positioning. But I like this play from Monster. He's going to try and award his team a little bit of an early lead here. Getting ball all the way to garage, but now knowing... He needs to focus on this overshield. He looks to be aggressive. Yeah, you know, for French Toast here, they they know they've got to switch up what they were doing. The previous way they were playing just hasn't been working up well against the way we're seeing or the form we're seeing Optic in today. They need to make sure they are heavily outslaying Optic. And this is a great way to open that one up. Lucid, he's running for his life as the last guy alive. The sniper plays coming in to prevent that OS grab is going to do wonders for French Toast for building a lead here. Dombo. So often we see it in the hands of Optic when they are not in a position to get overshield. Obviously, it's a clear strategy of theirs you want to delete that overshield with the combo apg not able to find that overshield player and actually gilkey taking him down removing that combo from his hand the damage has been done though and a nice 22 point lead for french toast as their setup is broken optic finally get the job done to take them down but a nice little chunk of time as they have to play retake at this point losing all four members Optic are probably going to be able to tie this game up without having to get another round of slays before that score is nil-nil. Yeah, I mean, only getting 22 seconds there, that's a little bit rough because French Toast, they got themselves in perfect position with those snipes onto the Overshield player. They killed him before he was able to pop OS, and then the Sniper Rifle OS play, but only securing 20 seconds of ball time with that much control doesn't bode well for how things may play the rest of the series second overshield of the map comes up that one's going to go over to formal here for free and so optic the fact that they're able to keep the game tied without any real weapon or power up control definitely is looking good for them yeah especially knowing that not only did you get over so you perfectly rotated it away from where french toast was they created some space towards tower they got the ball all the way across the map at tower and with another round of slays they look to build this lead now up eight but don't be surprised when this bulls up to about a 20 point lead here and honestly didn't see that player coming on the flank and that was a massive kill a little bit of an overstep from optic and what was a situation where they had three down they don't get any ball time so maybe french toast have created an opening for themselves to keep this game close yeah that was gonna be a nice position for optic to get a big chunk of ball time there i think lucid actually grabbed it a little bit early he tried to grab it and pass it off to another player to then finish mm -hmm. top center but the top center player picks up the kill on formal and then hides behind the wall buying additional time i believe it was right. then french toes coming off spawn at b and rotating up the nest but they were able to pick up that kill on the lucid and shut down any kind of significant ball time well here comes the top mid push trippy with the heat wave finds a back smack on the one gets good damage on the monster he gets deleted lucid and the boys are here the ball gets played but it's immediately picked back up and rotated back to tower lucid's found himself to snipe 
the ball in Optic's hand, and now they look to regain the lead here in a moment. And a no scope from Lucid. Little body disrespect behind it, and that is just unbelievable. I don't know how you compete against something like that. Yeah, that was an absolutely disgusting sniper to be flying through at that momentum and connect Ooh. on the sniper headshot just goes to show how talented Lucid is. That's why he's the MVP here. If he doesn't yeah. connect with the Blast Pistol shot, but still, or excuse me, Formal doesn't connect with it, but still wins the fight here, or excuse me, helps Trippy win the fight. Monster trying to grab himself an overshield that gets taken out. Gilkey will go ahead and grab that and secure it. So nice job here by Gilkey. Optic, they have the Plasma Pistol, they have the Heat Wave, gonna do everything they can to just hold off this aggression, hold off this pressure coming in from top and bottom center, and then rotate that ball away. Yeah, good job by Optic to be in a position to play this ball, making this overshield pretty irrelevant, right? Like your overshield was literally used to break the setup. You don't really get to transition it into any points. A big play by Optic, they've gained the lead. And they have an opportunity to compete for this play ball as well. It is gonna be pulled and that's a good job by Monster to immediately get that into a safe position. Look at the rotation in the house. And now the question is, can French Toast withstand this push from Optic that's coming from all different angles? Yeah, you can see they do have a nice kind of a spread here for them as they've got a house a just constantly looking over each other's shoulders trying as best they can to, to immediately shoot anyone that passes that kind of or progresses into A and finish them off. Now, Gilkey finds himself trapped top middle with a collapse coming in from multiple angles. Looks like French Toast, they wanted to rotate oh that my. ball out of A and kind of bring it towards tower, but that's not where the optic push was coming from. The push came from just over top center and swinging down through cuts. Even though we do see French Toast kind of almost high up the game. Now with all of them coming off spawn back B, it's gonna be in a tough position to push across here. Yeah, right now, these are the closing moments of round one, and every battle is going to be pivotal. That's a big win from Rami and the boys. Rami, maybe statistically not having a great game, but that could be all rewritten here. If they're able to at least win round one with these kind of stats, that's very promising for their future, you would have to think. Unfortunately, it's just trades across the board, the ball in a neutralized location. Formal going to deny Suppress from being able to pick that up for now. And Suppress, instead of grabbing that ball, needs to get over towards Overshield. Formal takes that kill. And with a couple of kills, Optic guarantee themselves Overshield control here in a moment. Oh, but a great kill uh, from Top Tower to actually pick up the kill on to Formal. Then you've also got Trippy running away with the Sniper, but he gets taken out. Lucid was the one to grab the Overshield, and with the oh, help no. of a teammate coming in from, I think, Monster, he grabs the double kill on his Suppress. Good patience by Rami, picks up the kill, the ball gets it all the way to the tunnel, unfortunately gets Nick, but Gilkey rips the head for a double, throws the ball to a teammate, take this, I got snipe, he says. Let's see if Gilk can do some work here and if French Toast can get the lead back. Yeah, Gilkey's in at 15 kills, Trippy at 16, leading everyone in the game. As far as ball time, Monster, he's been all over that with 56 seconds on his own. Now, Optic, they're still in the lead. There's just over a minute left to play in the game and a couple nice trade or a couple nice skills coming over in the way of Gilkey once again. That Look at this. They played the ball. They're late to the rotation on the respawn. Optic are there. Optic get the ball immediately. Get it back. Mud and Gilk has got to put his pedal to the metal. Got to get there. He does take that ball carrier down. But a cheeky little play from Trippy there to buy a little bit of time. Create some chaos. It could have gone better for Optic. And now Optic are going to have to retake what was French Toast's opportunity to do the exact same. They get a couple of kills with the grenades. The ball can't get secured through the door. And because of that, Optic are gonna have numbers and a chance to end round one in their favor. And just look at those peaks coming in from Lucid. He knows there's a sniper rifle player sitting just around the doorway. That player can't really leave because he's got to protect the ball and prevent a rotation. But he gets taken out. Lucid gets the ball time, grabs the final seconds. And now once again in game number three with a 2-0 series lead, they take the first round. It was close, closer than anything we probably have seen, but still nobody home for French toast here in the winner's bracket finals. Ramey with a five and 17 performance suppressed with an eight and 12 performance in round one. That production needs to be picked up if they want to stay in this series. It's a long game. 
but you're down one round. A phenomenal start, however, for French Toast. Four go down. They set up for overshield. Early ball time as well. Everything perfect right now for French Toast to get off on the right foot here in round two. You couldn't even hope for a better opening than that to get a four for O trade and then force all of Optic to spawn at B with overshield coming out. That is the prime position to be and they're able to keep the ball over here, continue that time and maintain over 50% of the map here with weapons as Optics, they've got to spend so much time just swinging around and trying to get into good positions to make a break. Even better, Gilks found himself the snipe and the heat wave, the superstar for this French Toast team in a position to help this team get themselves to a round three. Needs to find a kill, the trippy in the kill feed, APG in the kill feed. It's a 2v4. You got to play the ball and Gilk, anything you do here makes it easier for your respawners to have some help. Unfortunately, two players knocked to no shield. Nobody on his team in a position to capitalize on any of that damage and Optic's going to be able to potentially get this ball in the move and start taking away the increased lead that French Toast has built so far throughout this round two. Yeah, Gilkey, he was dead to right and still somehow managed to take two players that no shields with that play top tower. But unfortunately, nobody home for French Toast to actually secure any of those kills. And once again, Optic escapes with the ball. Now, there is a solid lead here for French Toast. They've got 49 points on the board halfway through this round number two and off the gaming, just finally starting to claw away at that lead. I like this play by Rami. There's a couple of players from Optic on the other side of the garage. Well, he's gonna just grab the ball and go to green. He says, I'll take the time. You guys go kill my teammates. And that's a perfect play. Efficient objective play out of Remy. Maybe statistically, like I said, not having the strongest game. 85 points in the objective is a good step in the right direction, especially when you're not getting the slays numbers that you're typically seeing from Remy. So good objective play, a play ball as well, and a 67 point opportunity against 13 from Optic to try and take this game the distance another two go down here Kilkey monster fall optic escapes with the ball they bring it top tower everyone from french toast trapped over towards a and just look at the confidence here all the commando just so strong if you're able to find a nice solid angle like that you can just unload insane amounts of damage and hold back pushes Kilkey gets a beat down kill apg grabs himself one as well and just like that even though they're holding the ball uh, even though they're just trying to hold off on this aggression in a 3v4 type scenario, they still take three out for French Toast. Here comes Formal, lands the body shot on the monster, but quickly recognizes he's about to get lit up like a Christmas tree from three of them. So he backs up, plays his life, and that's what Formal does best at times. Even though he's below the tower, he lands the body shot on the player above him. Heads up play by Formal. A couple kills go in their favor. But look at this. Monsters grab the ball, rotated it towards green. So although these kills all going in the favor of Optic, the ball not being controlled during, during this time, make it a little bit more difficult to create this comeback. Ramey's in his face. No problem. You'd think the BR shot's true from Formal. Who would have guessed? 71 to 58 and climbing. It was once a 71 to 13 point game. All of a sudden, Optic Gaming right back in this round two. Gonna make French Toast work for every victory they get. That's a great heads up play by Suppress that we just saw. He recognized that Optic's rotating the ball into A and he hides at the end of Rat Tunnel right for when they enter. Gets a kill, takes some damage onto the next player and opens up the map for Monster to finish that off and grab some additional ball time. Okay, the pressure's on the green wall right now. You got one last push. 13 points is all French Toast need, and I'm not even sure you're going to be able to get there, especially with Gilk buying so much time. But look at this. Formal's going to be jumping in the window. Monster spots him, gets the double melee, but the nade trade is a big one from Formal. Unfortunately, everyone in the game is dead other than Rami, and who better to pick up this ball and finish this round than the player with the most time for his team? French Toast are going to push this game three to a round three. Yeah, great job by French Toast. They had an early lead, and although Optic was heavily winning on the slays, that last ball rotation, great heads up by, by Suppressed to actually prevent any big chunk of time and then force Optic to spawn across the map is what took ultimately won them that round. Look at this. French Toast opted to push everybody towards the right at the start. They all went towards green. They get a couple of kills. They're going to be flanking the snipe. They get three of their own last player alive all four down now for optics so they don't expect the green push from a four 
sided map not often you see a strat change that significant in round three but it benefits french toast and now overshield and sights of both teams fortunate for optic they were able to spawn close to the overshield which means they're going to be able to compete for it and this battle is underway and it looks like optic with the flank trippy with the 32 kills the double is an important one you get some ball time as well if you can find it and that overshield's in their hands as well so optic starting this round three off much more similar to round one than round two. Oh, absolutely. You can see, though, the another scenario where French shows had a solid start. They put all four down for Optic, but only able to get six seconds of ball time. Like, that's the big concern. It's not the slays. It's not the setup. It's the objective efficiency. And while they did take round two and big props to them there, Optic is just overall looking a lot cleaner. Yeah, you know you made a mistake when you get four dead and you're not able to set up correctly to get the overshield, right? That's some somewhere along the way your philosophy your strategy you played poorly like you made the wrong decision optic going to be on the benefit side of that decision though and they've built up a 41 to 6 point lead prince toast trying to break this setup but they're losing members left and right the ball does get played it's a good start these shots from rammy are good on the trippy the out br the turn for the double is a good start for rammy someone who statistically isn't maybe playing at the highest level in this game as far as kills i mean him stepping up in round three could be big for french toast to get back into this yeah that new rubber shield is up as well rammy who didn't have the strongest first round or two he's come out in a big way here in round Oof. number three almost catching up to suppress on total frag count here now that is three dead once again last player live is gilkey he's trying to fight lucid and come away with the win but the finesse from lucid is just too good and he is gets out of dodge stays alive and will gilkey be able to trade one out hey some nice finessing here from monster to actually pick up the kill on the trippy but that overshield a little bit too much here for french toast but not not enough actually it's a lot but it's not enough because that heat wave does serious damage and once again optic find themselves in a bad spot yeah monster comes through with the heat wave and just breaks this setup wide open for french toast they needed that to be the play because this game was getting ugly but now it's just a 20 point game ever since those kills came through suppress has so much pressure on a monster as well french toast is set up not nearly as strong as optics so it's broken the ball gets played but optics going to be there to get that ball from bottom middle and they're going to pair it with a fresh new sniper in the hands of loose it's already been put to work rips the head off suppressed staggers the respawns once again for french toast and french toast need to slow this down and find a way to break this setup because very easily this could be their winner's bracket finals lives yeah and you do see lucy get taken out so sniper rifle goes down momentarily formal also gets taken out and gilkey and rammy with a few cleanups somehow that looked like prime position for optic and you have lucid with sniper rifle but yet four down somehow yeah beautiful job by french test to break that setup i'm not quite sure how it all happened but the kills that they got in the fashion that they had looked like they were at such a disadvantageous position there but for them to pull it off they stay in this game for now okay, you see it's monster and rammy who are really being the objective players here for french toast and on the optic side apg no surprise there 142 uh seconds on obj here so that is a 73 42 lead up by 30 even numbers as far as overall players go and with the rest of french toast spawning over here towards b i'm not entirely sure they're going to be able to rotate the Jeez. ball boosted just doesn't miss with this thing does he i mean i guess that was a miss but so much damage so quickly on all these different players in different elevations and his presence just being felt overwhelming by the french toast right now lucid can't quite hit that body either so i guess i cursed the kid towards the end of it but still making plays with the battle rifle even if i tried to curse lucid i couldn't stop him from taking oh. over this game trippy's here to help him and a beautiful set of teamwork and slays from optic gaming yeah you might think lucid messed up a little bit there but he actually didn't what he was trying to do and you can tell <laughs> by the reload is he was actually jumping to try to catch the ball first to prevent the play ball before going for the beatdown i thought that decision and the fact that he wasn't able to grab it was going to be the end of his uh life there but somehow with the help of trippy they managed to stay alive and even though they're not able to get the, the reset here still a great play and a high risk high reward opportunity for lucid 
I mean, this game's all tied up with how well Optic feel like they're playing. Let's give a major props to French Test for staying in this game so far. They actually have a lead here in round three. They got a couple of kills. Three, to be fair. And if they can take care of Trippy, they may be able to end this game. But Trippy finds a double by himself. Damage onto a third. And respawners from Optic are going to have a much easier time trying to deal with French Toast coming up because of that damage, because of those kills from Trippy. But they've got to act fast. 10 points is all the French Toast need. Oh my goodness. I thought for sure there's not enough time for them to get in it. And just as I say that, sure enough, nice ball positioning here from French Toast. And they're going to come out and take game number three. They are not going down without a fight. They beat Optic 3-1 yesterday. Now they find themselves down 1-2 in the series of the Winner's Bracket Finals. And I'm a little surprised. I thought Optic had that game for sure. You even saw a little bit of body disrespect coming in. I would say overall map control definitely heavily in favor of Optic. It's just a few of those last minute rotations um, and last, last second setups that Optic wasn't able to really execute on. And French Toast gets right back into the game and actually makes this a series. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm as shocked as you were. I thought for sure French toast was going to to kind of fold under this kind of a pressure under the 2-0 lead but they show some resilience there even after losing round one and a lot of things not going in their favor throughout that entire game they somehow found a way to be scrappy and i really do think it's the individual moments where they're willing to pick up the ball and rotate it rather than try to slay and then pick up the ball that kept them in that game long enough for them to steal it those are the kind of plays that need to be made for french toast to create this upset once again over optic yeah and so with that game being down one that taking a look at the series to begin with was probably one i thought for sure was optics game right uh and it was one of the first two games that you're going to really need to see french toast take in order to send this series the distance but we couldn't have been more wrong optic being up 2-0 in the series you think they are about to punch french toast ticket down to the lower bracket but no french toast has something to say about that takes game number three and now sending us right here into game number four not wasting any time game four underway it's gonna be street strongholds They've got rockets already, French Toast do. They make their way to the stairs. They're being put to use. They get the first couple of kills. And all of a sudden, French Toast feel like a different team than we saw in games one and two. A little bit of momentum goes a long way. A little bit of belief is all you need at times. They're unable to transfer over B, however. The rest of Optic do a great job to deny those rockets from really impacting the score. And it does look like because of that, Optic are going to jump out to the first point lead. Well, you see monster he knows exactly where those spawns are coming up able to track down players push into the base he does get taken out by apg rammy grabs himself a perfect and reversal onto lucid and as we say that three go down for optic gaming and french toast first one to put points on the board potential trip cap as three go down for optic formal is going to be the last guy alive towards the courtyard looks like he's in the back of pd right now and french toast in the driver's seat how long can they hold this is the big question because the longer they do the better of a game chance at a game five they give themselves but this is going to be a long one and i believe that optic is going to be able to shut down this trip cap at least for now i think it's a good idea that french toast didn't overextend to try and continue the whole day yeah, you can see Monster top five for the team at four. All of Optic only has five kills all together. So this has been all French toast here in game number four. They are just not going down without a fight. Not yet. 72 and counting. Trip, heck, trip cap back in effect. Split spawns actually for Optic as well as Formal gets taken down over towards Stram. The rest of the team, they're spawning towards PD. These kills, they benefit french toast as kills get traded out as rockets come up the trip cap's still in effect the lead continues to grow and wouldn't it be something if french toast can pair these rockets with this trip cap to continue with their momentum yeah imagine what well, what we predict before this imagine french toast comes out takes this and finds themselves in the grand finals oh my. that would be unbelievable but as we say that the momentum starting to shift Optic's going to get their first couple of points on the board. Now with the first time of control of two of these strongholds, let's see what Optic can show us as far as setting up and holding this to make this lead 
erase from French Toast. 133 point lead. And just as we say that, Optic does gain control and captures both B and C strongholds. But it, how long are they going to be able to hold it? Because their members are dropping like flies here. Suppress doing his best job to stay alive towards B rail. Two go down. I think if they're able to take out Monster, which APG does over here towards B, this is going to do wonders for them to start cutting down into this lead. Trades now benefiting Optic that they have control and Optic looking to be aggressive here, want to push A. They clear out the rest of A right now, but there's one player, Monster, who snuck into tires. He's able to finish off a no shield. That staggers APG's ability to really push for that potential trip cap. And that's a big kill by Monster to subside some of the pressure there. But Optic starting to take a chunk away, right? It was 133 to zero. Now 60 unanswered points. Rockets coming up in 15. You can tell Suppressed wants to play for these Rockets. It's just a matter of how he's going to do it. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Now, definitely cutting into this lead well. You've got a nice little... Uh... Flank moving in, trying to clear out any members they can find. Those rockets have indeed come up, and it looks like it's French Toast that will grab them. Lucid does trade out that kill. Rockets are going to be down, but APG, last member alive for Optic at the moment, comes off spawn towards back C. Nobody in position to try to secure those rockets here from Optic. Nobody in a position just yet, but the push looks like it's going to be prioritized onto b and that's the hell of a way to do it if you're trippy all four dead for french toast one player is going to spawn up cafe if they can find that player and monster take him down which they do they'll recycle the spawns good information here good use of the drop wall from trippy he denies a lot of the space that french toast are trying to come up off the respawn and now look at this they're pushing the trip cap and they're going to pressure monster as he tries to take over c they're not going to let him do that and now it's an opportunity for optic to get back into this one with just a couple of rounds of slays with this trip cap in effect yeah so monster does go down optic doing what they can to just keep this triple cap try to prevent uh the rest of french toast from being able to secure one Good shot lucid he just does it miss wins a big one v one against gilkey and that might be enough to put that triple cap back on the board now you did have french toast go from 133 to roughly 150 here but at the same time these two triple caps are doing wonders for optic they have immediately just gotten them right back into this game and as long as Lucid's able to stay alive with that Stalker and Thrust, hopefully going to be enough to keep Optic uh, with this momentum. And now a game that has primarily felt like it's been dominated by French Toast. Optic takes the lead. Gilkey, the superstar we quote for French Toast, 3-12 and 12 in the current version of the game. So even though there was 133 unanswered points on the side of French Toast at the start, Gilk's still having a statistical rough game right now suppressed trying to do his best to keep his team in this one but another trip cap for optic and when it rains it pours and when the pressure is on it's felt immensely from this optic squad they're able to trade a couple of kills to relieve some of that pressure but look at this score starting to get out of hand in optics favor now the good news is for french toast is that they killed lucid who had the rockets i believe there's still one rocket left however are they going to be able to secure that are they going to be able to hold any of these hills for any significant amount of time you have a player trapped at b who does get taken out so that's two down they trade at a and b but for the moment uh they're going to be stuck at a i like this decision from french toast though they are not pushing b they are flipping the map they're trying to push all the way out to c they do grab themselves a couple kills apg gets taken out formal grabs himself one and finds himself in a 1v1 with gilkey and he's got gilkey almost dead to rights nice finesse from gilkey he manages to escape and get his shields back but it's not enough to catch the hill as lucid comes in and finishes off the kill everyone in the game was involved in that fight bottom middle it was formal you thought it was going to get the very last laugh but he couldn't finish off gilk gilk does a good job to stay alive unfortunately doesn't translate into anything because the kills didn't come through after right now 217 and climbing the bleed up to about 40 50 points now for optic gaming looking to solidify their spot in the grand finals and just 25 points away from doing so yeah you can see there's <laughs> trippy just running away but picks up the kill on suppressed and is letting him know with the body disrespect 
that should be all they wrote here, Wes. Monster, he does grab himself a kill, but that's three dead. Suppressed, who just came off his spawn, cannot get anywhere fast enough to contest this. And that's going to be it for the winner's bracket finals. Optic Gaming takes down French Toast, gets their revenge with a 3-1 win. It's about lunchtime, so breakfast is over. French Toast sent to the elimination bracket. And Optic, like you said, they erased that story from yesterday where everyone's like, how in the world does French Toast beat Optic? They get them out of their way, that revenge is seat. And now, so often as we get to say, the winner's bracket finals, Optic Gaming advanced to the grand finals like they have so often recently. And they'll await the, the elimination bracket to go underway. And I'm excited to see who comes from that elimination bracket because there's a lot of stacked teams down there. SSG, uh, FaZe, French Toast still playing fairly well. Those games were a little bit closer than you would have thought after watching what Optic was able to do against FaZe earlier. So I expect French Toast waiting in the elimination bracket finals to give whoever comes out a hell of a run.